The mysterious deaths of Barry and Honey Sherman, a wealthy Canadian couple, have puzzled investigators and the public alike since their discovery in 2017. The Shermans were found deceased in their Toronto mansion near their indoor pool under circumstances that appeared highly unusual. Barry Sherman, aged 75, was a notable figure as the founder of the pharmaceutical company Apotex, and his wife Honey, 70, was known for her philanthropy. Despite their high-profile status, there was no evidence of a break-in, and the couple had not been in contact with friends or business associates for two days prior to the discovery. This case quickly gained widespread attention due to the couple's prominence and the strange nature of their deaths. The police deemed the situation suspicious, leading to various speculations and theories about potential motives and perpetrators. However, even after extensive investigations over the years, no arrests have been made. Marking the fifth anniversary of this tragic event, the Sherman's son has increased the reward for information, leading to an arrest to $35 million, reflecting the family's continued quest for answers and justice. Right from the start, the investigation into the case perplexed both professional detectives and those attempting to solve the mystery on their own. Shortly following the unsettling discovery, an autopsy indicated that the cause of death for the couple was strangulation, specifically referred to as ligature neck compression. At this initial phase of the investigation, the police had not yet classified the deaths as homicides. Detective Sergeant Susan Gomes mentioned that the nature of the deaths was still unclear, with the possibilities being either a double suicide, a murder-suicide, or a double homicide. Barry Sherman established Apotex in 1974, growing it into an international pharmaceutical powerhouse. The company has a notable history of philanthropy, having contributed more than $50 million to various charitable causes, as stated on its website. At the time of his passing, Sherman's net worth was estimated by Forbes to be around $3 billion. Six weeks following the discovery of the bodies, the Toronto police declared that a thorough review of the evidence indicated that the couple had been victims of a homicide. The police stated their belief that the Shermans were specifically targeted. The delay in reaching this conclusion was attributed to the extensive time required to meticulously examine the Shermans' large residence, along with other related investigative challenges. In January 2018, Detective Sergeant Susan Gomes highlighted the legal complexities encountered during the investigation, particularly due to Barry Sherman's business dealings and the litigation-prone nature of his company, Apotex. This complexity was evident in actions like the search and seizure of electronic devices and materials from Sherman's workspace at Apotex. Gomes noted that two residential properties owned by the Shermans were thoroughly searched. The primary residence, a large three-story family home, required six weeks of intensive search, forensic examination, and evidence collection. The police have suggested that financial motives could be a factor in the double homicide, as reported by CBC, a CNN affiliate. However, a spokesperson for the Toronto Police declined to provide comments to CNN on this aspect of the case. Throughout his career, Barry Sherman was involved in numerous legal disputes, including a lawsuit filed on the last day he was seen alive, in which he claimed to have been defrauded of a $150,000 investment, according to CBC. Sherman was also known for his financial dealings beyond his core business, including lending money to friends and relatives and investing in various other ventures. According to a report by CBC, the Sherman mansion was not equipped with security cameras. Detective Sergeant Susan Gomez mentioned that given the absence of any forced entry signs, it is plausible that the perpetrator either had a key, access to the lockbox containing the keys, or was someone familiar to the couple. 
on the fourth anniversary of the couple's passing, which occurred in 2021 after a prolonged period of no significant updates, the police made a remarkable announcement. They released a video showing an indistinct figure captured on security footage walking along the snow-laden sidewalks in the North York neighborhood where the Shermans lived. The police identified this individual as a suspect and appealed to the public for assistance in identifying them. The police noted that the individual in the video was seen wearing a head covering and seemed to be between 5 feet 6 inches and 5 feet 9 inches in height. They stated that they were unable to determine whether the suspect was male or female, nor could they ascertain the suspect's age, weight, or skin color. The siblings reminded the public of the $35 million in reward money to reach out to Toronto 